silicaceous earth, which is between 80 to 90 percent silica, is known as the grass of the sea and is made from the fossilized remains of microscopic shells created by one-celled plants called diatoms. Even though diatoms are microscopic single-celled algae, they are the basic food of all higher aquatic life forms. Diatoms create a unique cell wall called a frustal made of silica or hydrated silicon dioxide by extracting silica from the surrounding waters or weathering of sedimentary rocks in the ocean. Because they are composed of silica, which is insusceptible to diseases and viruses, diatom frustals remain well-preserved over vast periods of time. The number of microscopic diatoms required to produce a rock of any thickness and weight is insurmountable. This is why some refer to it as fossil shell flour, which is a very fine powder because of its rich, dry concentrations of diatom fossils. So how do these accumulated dead algae shells provide any benefit? Diatomaceous earth does not get absorbed into the bloodstream because it's inorganic, yet still provides immense value as an internal cleanser and scrubber. Here's how. Everything diatomaceous earth does is either physical action or an electrical action. The diatom shells resemble a cylinder full of symmetrical cages shaped like a honeycomb. These honeycomb cylinders have a strong negative charge and naturally attract and bind to positively charged substances, such as free radicals, parasites, viruses, pesticides, heavy metals, E. coli, drug residues, and bacteria, allowing for safe elimination and removal by flushing through the urine and feces. This is what gives diatomaceous earth its natural anti-inflammatory capability. The crystalline cage structure makes for a perfect whole body detoxifier. Diatomaceous earth passes all the way through the stomach, starting with the gastrointestinal tract and leaving through the colon, gently pulling and scrubbing the insides. This is why diatomaceous earth is nature's perfect internal cosmetic. It acts as an internal cleanser and scrubber, pulling many unwanted excess waste materials through the body, while effectively leaving the beneficial microorganisms. The naturally strong negative charge diatomaceous earth carries acts as a detoxifier in nature as well. That's why if you plan to supplement with diatomaceous earth, it must be cleansed of its cages and free of all environmental toxins and pollution. They are called diatoms, and literally billions of these microscopic plants are scattered across the Earth's bodies of water. Made up of just one cell, these plants take minerals from the water, and when they die, they ultimately form layers, hundreds of feet thick, of diatomaceous earth. And when the conditions are just right, these diatoms multiply, and they have left huge deposits of this the fossilized shell and with the earthquake and other natural phenomenon they've been pushed up to the tops of the mountains. Diatomaceous earth is classified into two different categories. One you have a crystalline silica uh, diatomaceous earth and an amorphous diatomaceous earth. The crystalline silica diatomaceous earth is harmful to breathe uh, is used mostly for filtering aids, such as in swimming pools or the beer and wine industry. And the second diatomaceous earth is, is called amorphous. The uh, fossil shell flower uh, is tested out at being far less than one half of one percent of crystalline silica and is classified as food grade diatomaceous earth and can be fed to animals. This natural product also works wonders as an insecticide in agricultural fields and gardens. There were flies all over the backs. Once we threw this powder, you don't see any. They're all gone. Diatom shells are another example of the millions of elements that Mother Nature offers to keep our lives healthy without damaging the environment. It has the ability to pick up viruses, bacteria in the intestinal tract of the animals. It also helps eliminate parasites in the intestinal tract. And it gets on an insect, uh, and it'll absorb that oily, waxy coating called the chitin uh, that's on the outside of the uh, insect, and it causes his body moisture to escape, and he dies of dehydration. 